Hi, my name is Toby, and in 2019, I inherited an abandoned 248,000 square metre farm in the northwest corner of Tenerife, inside the Tenor National Park. I'm now clearing 50,000 square metres of overgrowth, restoring a 100-year-old farm building, rediscovering 200,000 square metres of virgin forest, and setting up the location for a self-sustainable lifestyle center where parents can send their teenagers to discover how their grandparents lived 100 years ago in a modern, eco-friendly, off-grid homestead while they star in their own YouTube reality TV show. Here they will find out about solar and wind energy, discover how water is sourced naturally, how to domesticate farm animals, plant, grow and harvest crops, and also enjoy outside pursuits such as hiking, climbing, mountain biking, nature watching and stargazing. And all this in one of the best climates of the world. Follow our journey from the very start as we begin and develop this adventure. A massive project to bring useful purpose to this abandoned land become an active part of our dream to bring a sustainable lifestyle to this place of outstanding natural beauty. We are the Buena Vista Rural Club. Old ways, new paths. That roof went on yesterday afternoon. This is here, yeah? Yeah. And you're going to use all these tiles? They're all going on, yeah. They're all going on. Excuse me? All this, so all this is new, yeah? Yes, all this is new. The, and the steel on the top there. Yeah. See how it doesn't, the wall isn't straight, so it comes off the wall. Wow. Well, who would have thought, eh? That's amazing. After all these years, here yeah. you are. I know. Yeah. Watching. Welcome to the Buena Vista Rural Club. Thank you. It's lovely. <laughs> Very pleased to have you. It's delightful to be here. Too. So the roof itself, the steel beam that goes along here, and there's a steel beam that goes along here, that's been laid on top of the uh, old um, stone wall. Yeah. Stone wall, you can see, bows out, which yes. is why the steel doesn't quite fit on it. Right, because it's straight. So it's going to have two columns, where the where you see the the uh, fluorescent lines mm -hmm. there's going to be a column there and a column there right. just to take the weight of the roof oh, okay. columns are going to be steel columns and then the then the acroprop will come down so yeah. are these original windows then yes these are cattle windows, cattle windows. for uh, aer aeration and just look through that window at the view that you get Oh, lovely. That's incredible. Can you see them? Oh, it's coming up the ladder. Coming up the ladder. Just make sure it doesn't slide down the wall. <laughs> wow. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. Little, like you get a little glimpse of, of Shangri-La. Yeah. Yeah. And from right up the top there, the view. It's like the, the turret you put an arrow. Yeah, like a, like a, like a castle. Yeah, keep them all away. Yeah. Keep them all away. <laughs> Yeah. So let's come this way. Follow me. As we come down this way, you see this this building here in front of us. That's yeah. that's really the um, utility right. of the house. Yeah. That's where the track, the where the um, the old tools and uh, implements were were stored. Right. This was the 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 warehouse bit of it. Yeah. And then the people who worked on the farm, they obviously lived inside the house. Now, bearing in mind that my grandfather's house has been sold, there's another house called Guanchita in town, which I had to get everything out of. And I had to get everything out of the garage in, my, in the big house uh, after my 
since all the stuff from my mother and my father's mm. stuff and, mm. and I had to be clearing all that to get the space back didn't have anywhere to put it and here the roof leaks and yeah. you know I had to just dump everything so it looks a bit chaotic but look at the state of the roofs this this was the you know this is good compared to that one wow. that one had completely collapsed on one corner right. there there we've just got a window that's collapsed Right. And there, here, the roof, is, well, come this way. That's, that's the main bedroom. This, this here, you can see the roof is completely collapsed on this side. Yes. Okay. Yeah? So that all has to be uplifted and rebuilt. Right. Um, but that's what that barn was like. Right. Um, really? Four months ago. Wow. This is the kitchen, or the, smoke, the, the, the cheese smoking room. And cheese smoking. Yeah, they'd smoke the cheese in there, you see. You'd have a fire with very little exit for the smoke. And it would it would smoke the the cheese in cheese. there. Cheese, goodness me, that's amazing. And you can see the roof's gone on that. Yeah. This is gonna have to come down. But this is just holding up the gutter, that's all that does. That's all oh. that's a gutter. Right. So it's not structural at all, and it's just been added in. These are these canary canary pine beams. Mm -hmm. See, this is a canary pine beam that's been treated. Yeah. 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 And these are the new pines that are yeah. those rafters yeah. that have been treated right. in a special way to make them look the same. Yeah, similar. To make them look two hundred years old. So this is an original one. That's an original. These are all, this is all original wood. Wow. So all this is going to be used, yeah. reused into the into the into the build and you remember those stones i showed you yeah yeah in oh, la paz yeah. yeah those came out of my grandfather's house oh. and they're going to be incorporated here this is going to be a patio with right. the with the little bench you see the little bench yeah, here i'm going to re-roof it without this plastic yeah. proper traditional roofing yeah. these weigh something yeah they do oh, and then the the door beams will yeah. be made out of this this right. material oh, beautiful so is this your boundary bit? This there? is my boundary bit. This is the this is the back garden. And as we come down here, this is this is where the water is. This comes out straight out of the mountain here. Oh right. To this trough. Oh, it's quite damp here, isn't it? Mm. There's a lot of water at the moment because it's because it's been quite rainy. Yeah. So it just comes straight off that cliff yeah. face there. Wow. But if you come this way, if you can sort of wade, wade this way, no, it's probably and not, no, go back, big, go back. A big bin of bones, are these your last victims? Yeah, those life? are the last victims, the last people that I showed around. Uh, in there, look, go, come this way. Uh, I know it's, it seems a bit, a bit overgrown this way, but come this way. Oop. You all right there? Yeah, There's nothing, uh, don't worry. And the reason why I show you this is to give you an idea of a much better condition. Okay. Right, this is the barn, the, the same as mine. Careful. This is exactly the same mirror image of my barn. Right. So this you can see perfect. the three pillars. Right. Oh, I right, see. That yeah. hold up the, per the purlin. And the, and the. Well, this is much bigger than yours, isn't it? No, it's the same right. size. Is it the same size? Yeah, you can see the crack in the wall there. Right. Yeah? Yes. Oh, yes. It's From this side. side through there. Yeah, it's exactly the same as this. Oh. Mirror image. Right. And. Ensuite. They've got the ensuite in here, which um, oh, you wouldn't want to use. <laughs> and then come come this way, huh? Um, I think it was two families of two families of what they call medianeros, which are people who use who use um, who look after the farm. Right. Yeah. This this was a cheese smoking room. You see, you can you can smell that still if you look in there. That's that's where they used to smoke the cheeses. Mm. And you can see by the you can see the by the black on the on the wall. Mm. And this is a mirror image of mine, which is my cheese smoking room. But this is. Yeah being used as a kitchen or something yeah yeah wow. and it's a 
it's the same as mine. Then the, then this is the, and that's the bedroom, and the other bedroom, the same as mine. Right. Yeah, but they haven't. The roof hasn't collapsed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this is clean compared to what mine was like. Really. This is this is spotless. Oh gosh. Mine was up to here in rubbish, yeah. literally a, a meter deep of rubbish. Yeah. And this is the back. This is my utility room, but in their side. Oh, so this is yours, is it? And this isn't mine. No, this oh, is. No, no, this is but nice I'm thing. showing you. I'm showing you so you get some sort of idea of what it's going to be like. Yeah. Of not not even what it's going to be like, but what it. This is good right. compared to mine. Yeah. The condition of it yes, is good, it is. and there's absolutely bugger all in here. Dark. There's a bed in there. Um, but my, this is the same configuration as my side. Somebody. Yeah. Or is this somebody using it? No, it's been left from. Just abandoned. Probably the last at least five, six years. So all of this, and I can see that, that there's you know one of the, the the people, the owners have been here. You can tell. The doors have been closed and. So, and that's been stacked up there against the wall. So they're obviously taking an interest in it since I started yeah. doing what I'm doing. Yeah. But if we go back through the wall again. Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. I've got some <laughs> just, just watch yourselves. Follow Alan. That's the barrels, barrels of bones. Can you imagine how many animals? I mean, that's that is a small, a small number of the bones that I found. And I keep finding them. That one used to like to talk a lot. What are they? I think they're pigs and they are cows, mainly. Do they have sheep up here? Um, the, Probably not, yeah. but they do have something called a perihue, which is a half, it's a, what's called a shoat, oh, right. a shoat. Yeah, and then if you come this way, you come back into the barn, you see, via the kitchen. These are roots from the plants which are on the ceiling, on the, on the roof. That's let to be cleared. You yeah. see here I've got my grandfather's old sink from 1934, wow. uh, Armitage Shanks. Brilliant. Poor, so that's going to go in here. Really? Then Cooker. this is a, a plate rack and stuff. All that's going to be cleared. It's the next thing. I mean, it's yeah. going to happen slowly, but you need to get it structurally safe. Yeah, it, it does need to be structurally yeah, safe. Uh, this now, I think, yeah. is structurally better than it was. That wall is. You can you can see I've done a concrete repair on it there, right. and now that's going to be uh, stoned so oh. that it looks the same as that all the way. Right. But that was all falling down. Now that's all, that's all safe and secure now. Okay. There was a big hole in the wall there. So, Amazing. and then I'll show you here. Big it has been a very big. Thing. Up on the roof, you see that's the security. Yeah. And then you've got the solar panel. So the solar panel leads you to here. This is the solar room, right? So that's, a, that's the provisional solar installation. You see the batteries are green, that means it's in full swing. 13.6 volts, which means the battery here is in good state. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in here we keep the cement and it's going to be a bunk room so it's going to have a, a bunk beds in here and I'm, I'm taking the plaster off the walls and making the walls stone and this is going to be polished up yeah. eventually nice. yeah. but I've the done the top here, bit though? it's all concrete uh, yeah. slab quite good actually yeah quite good um, 
So you'll need some sort of a door with a window, won't you, or a door with a... Well, this has a window in the door, you oh, see. Oh, right, over there. That's the old-fashioned way. Because <laughs> you need a bit of airing. Yeah, so but this, is, this isn't this is going to be a bedroom. This right. is going to be a bunk room. This is really just as a temporary measure. This oh. is really agricultural, so it will be yeah. a storage room agriculturally. Oh. But, but I'm going to put <coughs> beds in here for the time being. Okay. Yeah? And then, for instance, here... You know that pine, that, that canary <coughs> pine I was talking about? Yeah. yeah. This is a gargoyle, like water trough, oh. that came out of the customs house. Just yeah. feel the weight of that. Gosh. Yeah. That's, a, that's a piece of wood. Yeah. That's like a piece of steel. Now that's about, Amazing. that's uh, coming up to 500 years old, that piece of wood. The house it came out of was built in 1620. Really? Nice. I know that because it used to be my father's house. Oh. And then this is another water spout. You hear this thing? Yeah. Made, carved by hand out of a, out of a piece of stone. Mm. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For the water to come down off the, off the roof. That's going to go in somewhere. That's some water. Amazing. Well, this is just a mere sort of setup of the main project for you, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah. And then what's really taken. What really has taken all the work to get done is get all the plants off the roof here, which was completely infested with plants yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. See, you see all the plants at the top yeah. here, the roof line. Yeah, yeah. Well, this roof line was 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 <coughs> twenty times worse than that. And then this is thinking about it. Cool as in cold, or cool, cool as in fantastic. pretty fantastic place to live. Well, you've got a business here. Yeah. Sense, yeah. Now this door, for instance, that's about 150 years old. Yeah. Which is why I keep it. Yeah. It's going to be restored. It's yeah. going to be polished up. It's going to look fantastic. Yeah, it will do. But at the moment, it looks like a ruin. Yeah. And then, if I get this. And this is this has been what I've spent most of my time in the last six months doing. Let me switch the light on. Oh. Now, if I tell you that you do this bit? I did the floor, yeah, there's a hole over there. That's yeah. going to be um, that's going to be an executive toilet right. and shower room. Okay. I think, but it's got all the plumbing there. You see. Yeah. Um, it's going to be re... You see this part of the wall here? That's the experiment. Yeah. So the whole of the wall is going to look like this with, with open rock right. every once in a while. And then this is lime render. Yeah. You see behind the, behind the, the very white bit behind, mm -hmm. that's lime render. Right. So the walls at least will be painted with that, if not yeah. re-rendered. Right. And then this will be a workshop. Mind you that up until last week, this was full of the timbers, which are now up in the rafters, the rafters, oh, okay. which are up in the, right, yeah. in the barn. This was all full of that wood and all of the battens were in here as well. So you couldn't get in because of the thing. So I haven't been able to organize anything. Mm. So now I can get in here and organize since I built, there's the tractor. Yes. And you can see it's a four wheel yeah. monster machine. That's not what I was expecting at all. No. And then on the front of it, it's got this thing, which is a hammer-driven um, cutter. Like a flayer? Like a flayer. It is a flayer. With hammers. So it comes down, if it goes over a rock, it doesn't break the blades. Yeah. Hydraulically driven. 16 horses. Horsepower. Twin valve. The, that, the... Um... I want to have a go. Yeah, yeah you do. That, that now that is amazing. I want to have a go. Look at the thing. Yeah, it's brilliant. And it's got forwards, rookwards, <laughs> zap well. I don't know what they mean. Iron and aus. No, it's, it's got good levers, isn't it? That's yes. what you want. Yes. And you, with this, you could conquer Poland, couldn't you? I mean, you could invade Poland with it. It's amazing. <laughs>
How do you get it out the door, though? Well, you have to take the door off its hinges right, to get it in, and I'll have to get to take the door off its hinges again to take it out. But I needed to put it somewhere where it was secure, where it could have it, where it wasn't going to get... That's an amazing door. That's an amazing yeah. door, yeah. And they've got loads of them. Loads of those doors. That's going to probably be a coffee table. Gorgeous. And those are all the ends of the rafters, you see, that came mm -hmm. off. This will be um, Dexian shelving along here, like this, yeah. but big, like that. Yeah. But it's all completely dry, isn't it? Well, well there are yeah. a couple of patchy bits where it's leaking, but, but that's generally. only temporarily because we have actually tanked the top. Right. We've tanked, the, tanked the, uh, the, the roof. You feel adventurous? You want to go up on the roof? Yeah, I've got. Yeah. Abandoned toilet. Abandoned Sweet. What do you think so far? <laughs> I think it's wonderful. It's what, about the toilets, you mean, or the, <laughs> the project? I think the project is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Absolutely it's amazing. fascinating. Really fascinating. I think it's so beautiful. The views are stunning. Absolutely stunning. But it's a big project. <laughs> Everyone keeps telling me that. <laughs> just keep going it's Everybody done. keeps saying it's keep a big project. It's well, Everest was a big mountain to climb once. Wasn't yeah. it? All of this land here, this is this all needs to be cleared. Is this this right? is the blackberries. Yeah, it goes oh, as yours. as far as that ridge there, right. all the way down. That where that tree is, and then continue the trees down, right. all the way. And the the first entrance that we saw, do you see the white building oh. down the bottom there? Yeah. That's there. That's it. So you come all the way up here. Ah, snake. You snake all the way up through here. Yep. So you'll have a different entrance. Um, well, there'll be that one, and then that, that very steep one. Um, yeah. That will. You snake up like you're going going through Longleat. <laughs> so what will you do? Just get rid of it, and burn it all. Or? Can't burn it. Nothing no. can be burned here. Ah, right. Can't even light a cigarette. Uh, on you straight away. In fact, the um, the. The island's environment ministry is just there. Oh, okay. They've got a bird's eye view of me. That's where you said that nice house, that nice hacienda. Yes, yes. It's over there, you see it? Yeah. yeah. With that guy in the binoculars looking up at you now. Yep, okay. that's it. He's the, he's the captain of the... So what do you do with it all then? Do you mulch it? Can you mulch it down? Or? You use that tractor and that... And you just choose it all up? Choose it all up. And then you spread it... Back no, out. just where it lies. Just leave it, just, okay. leave it to rot where it lies. Okay. Um, all of this will be converted to mulch, you see. Yeah. It won't be like that. No, 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 no. Um, You see, I've got little piles of rubbish. I've, it's just a question of co collecting them and taking them away. But blackberries will sprout everywhere. Oh. That needs digging out, digging out yeah. from here. But all of this, that will all have to go. All of this back here will have to be mm -hmm. cut down. And you see the stone wall? It goes up. Mm. Well, that was a pig pen. That was a pig pen. See, more bones here. Bones everywhere. Those are the chains we used to age our beams a hundred years. Oh, I left my bloody thing out in the rain. Anyway, you're not going to come up. No. Um, do you want me to go? Oh, you go first. Go you. Okay. You see how we lagged it all? But there's like a little bit of moisture left here yeah. and that needs to be uh, treated with epoxy resin yeah, yeah, sure. and it will be. There's the, uh, solar. the solar system and you can see the new roof going on there. It's all like nice and straight and new. That'll be finished tomorrow. And this is nice and straight and old. That'll be finished tomorrow. Yeah. 
well when I say finished it's it won't the sides won't be no, done no. but the roof will be on but, you know that we need to concrete all along the top and along the sides get it all re-rendered that's that's the neighbor's house okay they they built that obviously in the 70s before planning permission and stuff was you couldn't build anything now but you see that like this yeah. stone I like it so when we were doing this I left the stones out yeah. no, that's a little bit this would be the water system the water tank and then that's going to be pumped right the way round yeah. you can see already that the that the skim has started to come off yeah but as you say you put epoxy resin will you, will you cover the whole thing in, in epoxy resin yeah it's all going to be done but this is canary island workmanship yeah. not uh particularly great you see i mean all these cracks and stuff that all needs to be epoxied before it starts falling off How's that, Catherine? So that gate's down there, then? Not mine. No, but that, so that... That's nothing, nothing to do with me. That patch down there is... Nothing to do with me. Yeah. Mine finishes where the, where the trees are and the palm trees are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So come across there. Yeah. These two trees here, yes? No, I'm talking about these trees at the end there. Yeah, at the end of the, the green bit where it starts to get brown. Oh, I see. Sorry. So that tree down there and that tree there, yeah? Those two there, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So I see. So down, down to where the White House, the White Building so is there. Up a bit Almost, yes. But up, coming up yeah. that tree there, up to that one, then we're going up here. Yes. No, no. Down, down here. Then down here. Down, down here. here. All the way up here. All the way up here. Down to the front of that. And then up that way. And then, do you see where that... Tree, that big tree at the top is yes. that's in right that's so it goes up that side yeah. and then up that way to those other trees i showed you which are over here yep. you can just see them the tip of one over there and all the way over to where that big palm tree is over there behind the white house all the way up there and then straight up the middle of that valley and then take it about seven kilometers and you're, at the, and you're at the about, airport. About three and a half <laughs> miles. Yeah. And then you jump off the other end and you go to the airport in ten minutes. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> wow. Avocado. This? Yeah. Oh. When do the avocados come then? Yet to bear fruit. Oh. It had one or two on them. If it had one or two, that, does, that means it could have more. Okay. I'm looking forward to it, having not, lots more. And then this is... Do you need to hold on to me or? Sorry. You alright? No, I'm alright. Okay. You could get some zip lines up there, yeah. Yeah? Right the way down to the valley, yeah. Yeah, that'll, that'll upset the neighbours, won't it? I'm not sure. Right. Yep. <laughs> so I'm up here with uh, Catherine and Alan, Hello. who have come from the UK, Hello. and are here for the first time looking at the farm. What do you think about uh, the Buena Vista Rural Club? How does it look? And right. I think that I think the uh, Buena Vista Rural, Rural Club looks absolutely amazing, Toby. I think you've done a fantastic job. Can't wait to see it being finished. It's lovely. It's the most beautiful countryside, and you can't actually express how big the vista is it's just amazing and it is very rural which is what people are after these days it's gorgeous when you've got it finished it's going to be pretty tip top it's going to be stunning i think our bedroom's looking good already <laughs> isn't it <laughs> it is thank it's you very lovely. much for showing us around <laughs> the bramble bed yeah, the bramble bed, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. well, that's the on with the ensuite over here. <laughs> that's one hell of an ensuite isn't it and the kitchen, open air kitchen here. When you said, the there, was no, when you said there was no facilities up yeah. here, so look at this double butler sink Crazy. out of my grandfather's house oh, again in 1934. 
that's going to be the main the main sink it's lovely that you're recycling stuff and reusing. oh yes Come, getting everything that i can mm. um my father bought and restored the customs house in town. You'll see that right in the middle of the port in, in Puerto de Cruz. It's the big house with a cross on it. Right. And he bought it literally out of the jaws of the speculators. Oh, right. And now, of course, it's the icon, iconic architecture of the Canary Islands. It yeah. appears in every brochure, on every yeah. front cover, yeah. and is the pride and joy of the Canary Islanders. But it wouldn't be there if it hadn't been for my father, Wonderful. who bought it in 1965 and restored it. And I worked on that restoration as a boy mm. on, on my school holidays. And the thing is that a lot of the things that I have around me, a lot of the old things that I have around me, mm. uh, like that water spout, came out of that house. Oh. And copper water, water canals and, I mean, all sorts of stuff which uh, I can incorporate here mm. and make this really cracking. It's going to be amazing. Oh, what a shame this bottle broke. But yeah, I found yeah. that in the bushes. Oh. But, it was um, broken, is it? It was broken. Mm -hmm. But that's a hand-blown yeah, water wine thing.